Ever pondered about the earth-shaking power hidden beneath our feet? It's right there, just below the surface, a dance of titanic forces that can wreak havoc in an instant, yet remains largely invisible to us. We're talking about earthquakes, those terrifying tremors that can level cities and change landscapes forever. These seismic shudders are not random acts of chaos. They're the result of the Earth's crust, the solid, outermost shell of our planet, constantly moving and changing. It's like a giant jigsaw puzzle, its pieces always shifting, grinding against each other, building up energy until, boom, an earthquake happens. While these ground-shaking events can be devastating, they're also a natural part of our planet's life cycle, a sign of its dynamic nature. It's a fascinating, if somewhat unsettling, reminder of the immense power that lies beneath our feet. So what makes the ground beneath us shake and tremble? Let's delve into that. Imagine the Earth's crust as a jigsaw puzzle, constantly moving and jostling for space. This jigsaw puzzle isn't a flat picture, oh no, it's a dynamic, three-dimensional, ever-changing landscape. This puzzle is made up of major pieces known as tectonic plates. Think of these tectonic plates as giant rafts, floating on a sea of semi-solid rock. Now, these aren't your average, flimsy rubber dinghies, but sturdy, robust, continent-sized rafts. These rafts don't stay put, they're always on the move, but they're not in a hurry. In fact, they move at about the same pace as your fingernails grow, or roughly the speed a snail would crawl. Now imagine trying to squeeze a square peg into a round hole. It doesn't fit quite right, does it? That's a bit like what happens when tectonic plates meet. They can't simply glide past each other smoothly. There's a lot of pushing, shoving, and grating involved. And just like that stubborn square peg, something's gotta give. When two tectonic plates interact, they can do one of three things. They can move apart, like two friends going their separate ways. They can collide head-on, like two bulls locking horns. Or they can slide past each other, like two ships passing in the night. But don't be fooled by these seemingly peaceful analogies. These interactions can pack a punch. The energy released when tectonic plates move can be equivalent to several atomic bombs. And when this energy reaches the surface, it causes the ground to shake and rumble. We call this an earthquake. Think of it like breaking a chocolate bar. You apply pressure, the chocolate resists, and then all of a sudden, snap, it breaks, releasing energy in the process. That's an earthquake in a nutshell. So that's how earthquakes occur, but how do we measure them? Measuring an earthquake is like trying to catch a shadow, but with science, we've made it possible. It starts with a device known as a seismograph, a sensitive instrument that records the intensity, direction, and duration of seismic waves. These waves ripple through the Earth's crust during an earthquake, and they're what we feel as the shaking ground beneath us. The size of an earthquake is usually described by its magnitude, which is a measure of the energy released during the shakeup, but it's not just about what happens on the ground. Thanks to advancements in technology, we're also able to monitor tectonic movements from high above. Satellite data plays a crucial role here, capturing shifts in the Earth's surface that could indicate seismic activity. With this knowledge, we can better prepare for these natural disasters. But that's not all. Scientists are making strides in predicting earthquakes too. Predicting an earthquake may seem like predicting the future, but it's not as far-fetched as you might think. With leaps in technology and ongoing research, we're inching closer every day to forecasting these mighty forces of nature. Breakthroughs in earthquake prediction technology are revolutionizing our understanding of tectonic movements. Satellites now keep a watchful eye on the Earth's crust, capturing minute shifts that might signal an impending quake. These early warning systems are invaluable, providing precious seconds to minutes of warning that can save lives and minimize damage. But it doesn't stop there. Researchers are also delving deeper into the Earth's seismic patterns and geological history using advanced algorithms to decode the planet's rumbles. This wealth of information is being harnessed to improve our predictive capabilities and one day we may be able to forecast earthquakes with considerable accuracy. Understanding and predicting earthquakes isn't just about science, it's about safeguarding our future. Together we can make our world a safer place to live.